Hello everyone, this is uh, Mr. Sparks, and today we're going to discuss the transportation taxonomy model. To start the model, we're going to talk about the four environments of the model. And the four environments include land, and there are two subcategories for land, stationary and vehicular. Then we have water as our second environment. It includes inland and oceanic. Then we have air. And it is two subcategories are lighter than air and heavier than air. And we have space as our final environment. And it has staffed and unstaffed as its two subcategories. In the taxonomy, we also have two modes. And these modes are to move people and to move freight. Uh, these will be done individually or as a combination. Then we have two types of routes. We have a fixed route and we have a random route. To discuss uh, our land transportation, uh, examples of this based on the stationary subsystem would include elevators, conveyor belts, escalators, and pipelines. Some examples of vehicular transportation would include cars, trains, bikes, motorcycles, skateboards, scooters, and many, many more uh, modes of transportation. Our next environment uh, shows examples of water transportation based on the inland subsystem which would include PWCs, boats, canoes, rafts, and others. Some examples of oceanic transportation would include ships, barges, marine, submarines, surfboards, and many more. In the water environment, there are many methods of transportation that can be used in both inland and oceanic waterways. Examples of air transportation based on the lighter than air subsystem would include hot air balloons. Some examples of heavier than air transportation would include planes, helicopters, gliders, and a few more. Examples of space transportation based on the staffed subsystem would include the space shuttle and the space station. Some examples of unstaffed transportation would include rockets, missiles, and satellites. Next in our transportation taxonomy we have our two modes. And our first mode is to move people. Here we see examples of how we would, might move people on land and in water. And then our next uh, mode is to move freight. Here's an example of land transportation and then water transportation for moving freight. And finally to wrap up the taxonomy we have our routes. And our first route is a fixed route. Here we see an example of fixed route. This one is a, an example of an oil line and then we have another example of fixed route and here we have some examples of some random routes. Well, a uh, quick review of our uh, transportation taxonomy. Remember we have four environments and those four environments are land, water, air, and space. And our subcategories for land are stationary and vehicular. And our subcategories for water are inland and oceanic. And our two subcategories for air are lighter than air and heavier than air. And our two subcategories for space are staffed and unstaffed. We have two modes of transportation. We either move people or freight. And then we have two types of routes. We have a fixed and we have a random route. Well, I'd like to thank you for watching my uh, screencast of the transportation taxonomy. These websites you see here were uh, provided uh, by royalty free uh, websites and links and uh, again thank you for watching and